What's up everybody, Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another interview experience video. So today the company that we'll be looking at is Persistent System and quite a lot of people were asking me but I couldn't get anyone to make a video a video interview experience for them but I did uh, get in touch with many of the people who are working there and how their interview process was, what questions were asked and all the things. So that that is the exact uh, thing that we'll be discussing in the today's video. So before we dive into uh, how the hiring process was, if you want to check about what the company does, you can go to their site persistent.com and you will find uh, quite a lot of products, what they do, uh, what domains they work in. I mean, I think they have touched almost most very important domains that uh, there are products in. So yeah, you can check about the company on their website. Now, uh, the average package that they give is like around 5 lakhs 5 lakhs per annum i'm not exactly sure you can check with your uh, tpo like if it is an on campus interview or if it is an off campus you can look at the job description and they will give the compensation in it now it is uh, like it is ranging from 4 to 8 lakhs but on an average they give like 5 lpa now uh, for the hiring process they have three rounds uh, 99 percent but sometimes if they feel that uh, they are not sure about certain candidate they might take one more technical interview so the first round would be an online test uh, it would be aptitude plus coding so this would also have two coding questions so yeah so it would be aptitude online and uh, the first round would be the platform would be amcat and the questions would be pretty easy they would have uh, aptitude logical reasoning uh, puzzles and very e easy and simple questions and along with that you would ha also have two coding questions now from these coding questions are the most important for this uh, particular round okay now uh, the coding questions are also pretty easy i mean uh, if you solve lead code or gfg they would be like easy level questions not even medium very easy level and uh, there is a partial marking available on uh, amcat so even if you fail for certain test cases you might get uh, half of the marks there is no negative marking so <laughs> make sure if you uh, don't know the answer uh, do guesswork okay so that is the first round and uh, some students from the first round would be selected for interview round so uh, the first technical interview round would be for 30 to 35 minutes might take 45 minutes depending on how the interview is how if he feels comfortable with you like uh, would you be able to uh, work or not okay so how the interview would be like is uh, the first question is same for all the interviews it does not matter you are giving product based service based anything so it would be like introduce yourself uh, what are your projects that you have mentioned in resume and you need to give details about them now once you give the projects there would be cross questions regarding uh, on the projects that you have done if it is a web dev they will ask what frameworks did you use uh, why did you use certain architecture or why did you use certain particular thing so cross questions on what you have worked on okay uh, then the questions after that would be like the sequence does not matter they could be like jumbled uh, first they would ask like coding questions or afterwards they will like uh, theory questions but the questions would be of similar things so if they are theory then they could ask like object oriented programming questions like uh, they would ask most probably ask you a language which you are comfortable in c++ java python try not to give python because uh, in coding it would they do not prefer python so uh, for that particular language they would ask you object oriented questions because th uh, there might be certain differences based on java or c++ or python something like that now, after that they might ask you queries for uh, sql and some basic questions of dbms computer networks operating system etc after that they would ask you like certain debugging questions like uh, how would you debug in certain projects uh, how would you find if there is any particular problem while building or uh, let's say there is an android studio project that you might have done like was there any problem that you faced during that time okay so certain basic debugging questions after that what they do is there are some questions which they might ask you just the approach for like sorting and searching questions uh, they would not ask you to code i mean they could ask you but uh, whatever things i've heard from people's interviews they generally do not ask them to code just how the approach is how that particular sorting works okay and finally they would ask some coding questions now the coding question they would ask you to code you have to share your screen and then you have to uh, code that particular problem after you give the approach 
now most most of the time there would only be one technical round but sometimes there is one more technical round if they are unsure about that and uh last round is the hr round now i've seen that uh like for 2020 or 2021 batch students there was a uh, online i mean uh, it was a simple interview itself there would be someone uh, and the questions would be simple hr related questions but like for 2022 batch uh, for some students i've heard that there was a proctored online test uh, where they had like uh, 80 to 100 questions and they were given a time of 20 to 20 to 30 minutes to solve those questions okay so it wouldn't be an interview sort of thing okay so those are the three rounds and uh, uh, if you need certain questions i do have some questions which uh, were asked and if you need them let me know in the comment section below uh, i'll make one more video if there are uh, if many people are asking about it and finally if you need uh, some interview experiences i have attached some links in this document you can check these so one is from uh, geek for geeks this is for 2022 batch what questions were asked etc and uh, one is for interview one link is off interview bit so yeah that's all that is the basic thing how the hiring process would look like so yeah uh, if you found this video is useful uh, make sure you like the video uh, subscribe to the channel if you need more such interview uh, hiring processes of the videos uh, dsl go questions etc and yeah that's all uh, i'll see you in the next one